Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scott Delicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are taking our annual trip to the Coach Outlet store to check out the Floral Cluster Prints Floral Appliques and a new lovely butterfly print. Hold it right there, ma'am. I'll be taking that. Ah! But before we hop into today's Coach Outlet shop with me, if you guys love handbags, hauls, Coach Outlets, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoy today's video and it helps with that pesky <laughs> YouTube L go rhythm no oh, that didn't work out for the dog so well Hop, skip to my loo onto these beautiful new lovely prints. And first up, we're going to be looking at the Mara Hobo Bag in the Floral Cluster Print. This has a nice, beautiful, soft, white pebbled leather. I do believe that's probably called chalk. That's generally what uh, Coach calls their like white colors. But it felt really good. It didn't feel cheap or anything like that. I like how the embossing looks. It, there's even sparkle slash glitter like in like the flower petals and stuff. So it's pretty cute. Not my personal style. Not my personal style. But I can still appreciate the new or not new. I do believe this is an old print. I believe it's just like a on new bag styles and stuff. So I do believe they came out with this last year. If memory serves me correct. <laughs> sometimes I can't remember exactly y'all like the coach releases a lot of stuff but I do remember this print specifically if anything it's better than what it was this is a whopping $580 comparable value so that's pretty expensive 50 to 60 percent off of that would be the original price tag a bit expensive but the bag actually looks really damn cute like, with my outfit, with, like, the cheetah print and everything, and, like, my denim jacket, it looks mint. I'm not gonna lie. I actually really enjoy the way I'm styling that bag specifically. And I also got my Sammy top handle with me. Had to break in the Sammy top handle a little bit more before the jelly tabby came in. <laughs> and then here, just looking at the uh, multicolored Mara Hobo. Uh, 520. 520 comparable. So not as bad. But it does say the signature canvas variant is $249 flat rate. So I do believe that makes it a little bit more expensive. By like a couple bucks. Because even then it says 520. And then after that we're moving on to the lovely butterfly print on the Rowan Satchel. $4.90 for the comparable quote-unquote value, and it's 60% off. Not bad. You can always count on Coach uh, releasing, like, a Rowan Satchel at a really good discount. Always. Even though 60% is generally what they're releasing at and staying at, it's... Uh, I really wish they would bring back 75% off, because, girl, these margins... If everything's released at 50 to 60% off and then it goes 65% off, that's not a sale. <laughs> but looking at the next one, which is the Ella Hobo. I do believe this is also a new style. A, or newer style, I should say. $490 comparable value. I, I do kind of like it. $249, $249, so like that's probably like 50, 55% off. It's a cute bag. 
the, has the nice pebble leather. I do believe that one in specific is like a really beautiful, like light Tiffany blue, which Coach has been um, coming out with as of recent. Like the next future drops are going to be featuring a lot of these really light, light blues and like really vibrant reds. And then here we got the signature canvas with floral print, floral cluster print, sorry. Ella Hobo is pretty cute. It's, it's a fun style. I do like these like over flaps with like the turn lock button. It just looks very um different. I don't know. It's hard to explain the style and silhouette it gives. But this one is 520. So it's a little bit more expensive, I think. Did the other one say 490 or 520? No, that was the Rowan. Oh my gosh, girl. Too many prices. And then next up, we do have the Snap Billfold Wallet in the beautiful, lovely butterfly print. So there's two different lovely butterfly prints. This is like the, uh, the light one, if you will, the pink. Try to open it up there for you. Has a nice leather on the inside. I think it's black. I can't tell. Maybe it's like an ox blood. Being colorblind is a pain in the ass. <laughs> also, it doesn't help that all most stores don't have proper lighting to like for filming and stuff. So, eh. got it. Oh no, that is definitely like an ox blood color. 220. 220 Canadian. 60% off? Or is that 65? 60% off. Okay. Ah, uh, that's okay. That's not bad. It's like not bad for a new release, I would say. And then they also got the signature canvas with floral cluster. Neither of these prints are my aesthetic. Let me just say that. Um like, they are very cute. They're very, like, I can appreciate them. But they're just not for me. They're just not me. It's too in that, uh, like, flowers and butterflies. And we just know that I'm not into that kind of stuff. Very rarely. Very, very rarely. And then here we got the accordion wallet. The accordion wallet. It is really nice. Uh, mainly leather. I do think, like, some of the inserts are, like, uh, they do have, like, a uh, fabric. 180 comparable. Not bad. Not too bad again. It's okay-ish. Pebbled leather felt nice. Smooth leather on the inside felt nice. So there's nothing too cheap about it. And, you know, fair price. Fair price. And then here we got the, um, I think this is the ID Snap Zip Around Wallet. Girl, they throw every damn name at the, in the sink. They throw everything in the kitchen sink in these names, and girl, it is just so exhausting sometimes. Uh, 150 comparable. Not bad. That's actually not bad. I will say straight up, that is not bad. I feel like that's more in line to, like, a, a good price. A good price. Some pieces can be really expensive, and it's just like, no. Like, you're asking way too much for an outlet piece. And then here we got the bare metal uh, flower charm. It's got, like, it's holding, like, a bouquet of flowers. It's super cute. Perfect for spring and summer. $120. I do believe it's 60% off as well. So, I don't think that's bad. For a bag charm, I'm glad that they haven't really, like, screwed with the prices of bag charms. Because, girl, that would be annoying. That would be really, really annoying. And then here we got the envelope clutch with flower applique. I'm going to say the flower applique is my favorite. Out of the new collections, this is probably my favorite. Though it's going to be way more expensive. $460 for the envelope uh, signature canvas flap. Outrageous. <laughs> but it's got the applique flowers and it's giving retail vibes if you get it. Um, we do know that retail likes to play with the flower applique a lot. Especially as of recent and you know... I really like that Outlet has a chance to shine in that department. Especially when it comes to this Morgan shoulder bag flap. Or Morgan flap shoulder bag. There, that's the right name. <laughs> With the signature canvas and the flower applique. 
though a whopping $610 comparable. I know it's not the real price, but it's still pretty expensive. I actually, this is probably my favorite piece in today's uh, video. It just felt substantial. It felt really good for an outlet piece. Like it didn't feel like outlet. It doesn't look like outlet. It looks really good. It's, and I, for the price point, I'm not mad. For the price point, I am not mad, and I can actually understand why they would price it so high. But just generally looking at it, and what we've seen from the Morgan shoulder bag in past reiterations, this tops the cake. This tops the cake and raises a bar for the Morgan. And then here we got this butterfly silver, like, massive, chunky metal bag charm. I actually really dislike that. <laughs> it. It just, no, I'm good. I mean, good for you if you like it. It's it's not bad. I, I think the metal wasn't solid either, so it's not super heavy. But we've got the corner zip wristlet, $110. 65% off. Okay. But this is the lovely butterfly print in the dark blue. So this is the dark one. So there's pink. And then there's blue. This one's the blue. I definitely like blue. Blue, hands down. I do not like the pink that much. Um, not that I don't like it, but you guys get one. I'm not a big fan of these, like, uh, girly prints. I know some people think I'm, like, completely crapping on, like, girly things. But I am not. It's just not my style. And I'm going to be upfront about that. Just if you have a problem with that. It's not, that sounds like. A you problem, not a me problem, you know? But here we got the, um, which one is this again? The Andy Tote. Yes, the Andy Tote. We got the Andy Tote. The Andy Tote and then the Andy Crossbody. Or like Mini Tote, whatever they're calling it. I do like the Andy. And this one's got the floral cluster print. Got the pebbled leather. Not bad. It's cute. $520 comparable value. Eesh. Hefty asking price. But it's cute. And then just looking at some more of these small leather goods that are just kind of like laying around the store. The long zip around wallet. Butterfly print. I think they missed an opportunity with doing like a color scheme with orange. Or maybe yellow. Maybe doing like a green one too. 360 bucks. So that's not too bad. I get, no, 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 actually, that is, no, it says 129 there. So, no, that is not too bad. <laughs> so, if it's 129 and, like, even at 60% off for a $360, I'm trying to do math quickly, I do feel like that's an okay price. Yeah, I, I would say that's a fair price. And then they got, like, this cute little uh, lovely butterfly print bucket hat and some cute keychains with like resin butterflies, metal accented with resin um, key charms on it. Really fun. I think that would actually look really cute on my jelly tabby. It's just, I got so, oh my gosh, I got so many bag charms, y'all. And again, it does kind of fall into that style aesthetic thing, you know, get, get what I mean? I kind of have more of like a punk rock um, glam style Again, it is just not my style. My style is as is. So, I, again, cute prints. I can accept them, and I think they're okay. Uh, the Nolita 19 is 230 Oh, and I think it does say it's actually cheaper than that. So, that's good. And then we got the long zip around wallet with the floral cluster and the envelope clutch. Love, love, love the white pebbled leather. Just looks really good. And then on to the next pieces. We got the Darcy's. So the, the fact that the floral applique is starting at 60% off, I do feel like that's a fair price. Um, 580, 580. Okay, I think that is okay. Because girl, this bag looks sickening. It looks really well made and the, it, the leather just looks thicker, it felt nice, and the applique looks like it was applied really well. 
the canvas didn't feel too like light or thin or unwaxy because sometimes um canvases and the like, coated canvases can be really like cheap feeling but I did feel like this was a nice one I didn't feel like it was bad I feel like this is a good good price if you're looking for something like this and out of all of again the floral applique I could actually add to my collection it's just it's not as uh in that girly realm you know it's something a little more uh punkish you can make a little more punk i mean you can make punk with any of those prints but i think with like the studs on like the applique and everything i feel like that just makes it a lot easier for me to work and then here we got the darcy mini carry all with the lovely butterfly print 520 dollars canadian for the comparable value not too bad. I do really like the Darcy carryall. I think that's a really good bag. Like it's genuinely a, like a really nice bag. It looks really effortless. And what's good is that it's like got all these new fun styles. I think the Darcy is becoming a it piece for Coach Outlet. And rightly so. It's cute. Also comes with its crossbody slash a shoulder bag a strap. However you want to wear it. <laughs> we also know I'm a sucker for top handles, so obviously I gotta I gotta love the Darcy. And then closing off, we have the final piece. Debatably the most interesting. Because this is like a leather with a print over top. I I really like it actually. I like how the outside was very basic, white pebbled leather, and then you open it up into this beautiful cluster floral print on a leather. I really like it. It was actually a really nice wallet in my opinion. Like if I were to choose a wallet from today, it would have been that one. The most unique. 340 for the slim zip wallet. Not bad. 65, 60% 60 off. Not too bad. Got a few different buttons and compartments, so I like it. It's a yes for me. In a room. Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people. Hundred people. Hundred people. Hundred, hundred, hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. Hundred people. Hundred people. Hundred people. Hundred people. Hundred, 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 hundred. Four thousand, nine thousand, or nine nine hundred ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room. In the room. Alrighty, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Coach Outlet Shop With Me for the brand new floral and butterfly prints. Again, my favorite, the floral applique. I feel like that just looked really good, surprisingly. Like, when I was looking at it and feeling it, I was like, oh, these are actually substantial. These actually feel good. Like, um, I always say Coach Outlet does feel good, but these ones just felt a little a notch above the rest if you understand what i mean but what did you enjoy most but anyways if you guys did enjoy today's coach outlet shop with me video please hit the subscribe button if you are new hit that like button share with your friends and family comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had on today's sickening outfit of the day or floral slash butterfly prints from coach outlet as well you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation and you can check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my instagram facebook and discord notification squad i love you all to the absolute moon and back and i'll see you all in my next video Bye. <laughs> I think it was good. I don't, I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over. <laughs>